Okay, we have another interesting integral here from MIT integration B 2026. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, we have here another integral from the MIT integration B 2006, number 33. We have an integral of e to the x times two minus x squared over one minus x squared root of one minus x squared dx. Okay, at first this was pretty intimidating looking, but then I realized pretty quick that we can definitely try some algebra. We don't really know how it's gonna work out, but first of all, inside the square root right here, one minus x squared, difference of two squares, I can write this as one plus x times one minus x. And the nice thing about that is now we've got a one minus x here inside the radical, but we also have a one minus x here. But then I also can take this right here and do something similar. For two minus x squared, what I can do is pull a one out and I can write it as one plus one minus x squared. And then we can do this exact same factoring that we had right here and write this as one plus one plus x times one minus x. So let's put this all together and rewrite this. So first let's take the e to the x and distribute it into this right here. So what's gonna happen is for the first piece, it's gonna be e to the x and then distributing into the second part, we're gonna have plus e to the x times one plus x times one minus x. And then in the denominator, what's gonna happen, we've got this piece, one minus x. And then for the radical, let's use this, but then let's just use this notation and write it as one half powers. So then just rearranging, I'm gonna move over the one minus x. So we're gonna have this one minus x to the one half, and this is gonna become one plus x to the one half here. But then I can take these two and multiply them together because we've got the same base. So what's gonna happen when we multiply one minus x to the first times one minus x to the one half. I can just update this and write this as, and we can write this as three halves here. But from here, what I can do is let's just use this plus sign right here. But what I can do with that is just use that to split this up into two separate rational expressions. And now that we have this split up, we see we can have some simplification here because we've got the same base here and here and the same base here and here. So what I wanna do is let's just create an exponent of one on both these just so we can divide it together and simplify this. So first, if I divide one plus x to the one half into this, I can write this exponent as one half here and just get rid of this one. And then here, if we divide one minus x to one minus x to three halves, I can cancel this and we can update this here to a one half power. And now that we have the same exponent one half on each of these, let's just clean this up and put this together into one expression. But now at this point, maybe it's still not entirely clear how this is gonna work, but what I wanna look at is I kinda wanna look at derivatives and I was thinking I could take a look at what's the derivative of this, but then I was thinking actually it's probably nicer. Let's just take a look at what's the derivative of this thing right here. So let's just take a look at this. This is gonna be, we wanna find d dx of this whole thing right here. And what we're gonna need is, first we're gonna need the power rule on this. So when we do that, we're just gonna have this one half out front, this whole thing. Then the exponent's gonna become minus one half here. And then for this, we're gonna want the quotient rule. Derivative of one plus x is gonna be just one. Then we're gonna have just times the denominator, one minus x, then minus, then we're gonna have this first piece, one plus x, and then derivative here, this is just gonna be a minus one. It's gonna be all over this denominator all squared. Well, minus times minus gives me a plus right here. And then when you add everything up here, the X's are gonna cancel. We're gonna have one plus one, this whole thing here, this is just gonna become two, but I can cancel this two with this one half right here. Then simplifying this, first this is a minus exponent, so what I can do is flip it, right? This says one minus X to the one half over one plus X, one half. And then here for this part, this just becomes one over one minus X to the two. But then what I can do is actually divide this into this. And what we end up with is this is gonna become one minus X to the three halves. And this is gonna be one plus X to the one half over here. But then what's this right here? Well, if I create a one right there, what you notice is this thing here is exactly the same as what we have right here. Now back to this integral, let's just label this piece here F. Well, we just determined that this here must be F prime, just this part right here, not including the E to the X. But then what I can do is actually label this e to the x, let's label this piece here, just labeling that g. Well, if we take the derivative of that, derivative of that's just e to the x, so we have our g prime right here. So it turns out after quite a bit of algebra, this whole integral, everything here is just the product rule. Now looking at our product rule, you just see that what we have right here is exactly what we have in our integral. But to make a match, let's just show this, we can take an integral on both sides here. But what we have on the left side of the equation is a derivative, so if we take the integral of a derivative, we just get back what's inside here. So our solution is gonna be in the form of F. So our solution is gonna be F times G plus C. But for F and G, we already determined what that is. For our F value, it's just gonna be this piece right here. And then for our G, it's just gonna be E to the X. So putting that together for my final solution is we just get E to the X times the square root. I'll write that as a square root of one plus X over one minus X 
plus C, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.